Well, hello and welcome to another of my uh, Dare to Enquire videos. Uh, my name is Adrian and I am the uh, pastor of Castlehall Baptist Church, as you probably gathered uh, if you're watching this Dare to Enquire video uh, embedded into our church website. Now, if you could turn back time, would you? That, I think, is a fascinating question and it's fascinated uh, humanity, really, uh, for aeons, for generations uh, and for centuries. There is, of course, uh, the ever-popular uh, Doctor Who, but also there have been a number of films and books on the subject uh, over, well, uh, the millennia. Who can uh, ever, ever forget, sorry, uh, stories like uh, The Lost World? Uh, and who could ever have uh, forgotten the film The Land That Time uh, Forgot? Uh, if you had forgotten that film, by the way, um, my apologies uh, for that. We are fascinated with the subject of time and whether we can, in reality, uh, turn uh, the clock back. And um, there are those who claim today that we can actually do that. I'm just, uh, doing, I'm just working through this uh, exercise manual at the moment. Younger next year. Apparently, if I train really hard to high intensity uh, every single day, um, I will be a year younger uh, next year. I think it's rather more likely that I'll be dead next year, to be honest, but the promise is that I will be younger rather than older uh, next year. And actually there are those scientists who um, really do believe that time travel uh, is possible. Staying with the theme uh, of books, you can uh, buy this book, it's not a spoof by the way, Build your own uh, time machine. I didn't really understand a word of it, uh, to be honest, but apparently it really is possible to go back uh, in time. But if you could go back uh, in time, um, would you? I mean, I'd quite like to go back to the time when I was young and virile and handsome, but I mean, what's the point in going back just five minutes? I mean, that's what I say. Well, we are, of course, um, in March uh, 2021, and uh, it seems like an aeon ago, an age ago, that we were in March uh, 2020. And these last 12 months, um, during the first, second, and then the third lockdown, uh, the pandemic hitting, of course, earlier than March of last year. But during these last 12 months, times have been really, really tough. And if you could turn back the clock on these last 12 months, um, would you? Now, there are those, of course, who would say absolutely yes. It's been incredibly hard and they have experienced real tragedy uh, and real bereavement. And I don't want wish in any way to trivialise that or, or to treat that in any kind of dismissive uh, fash uh, fashion. Uh, I've been extremely fortunate, personally, uh, during this uh, pandemic. I haven't been furloughed. I haven't lost uh, a loved one. I haven't suffered any other tragedies. Uh, I haven't suffered a loss of a business, for instance, uh, either. But I am mindful of the fact that there are many, many people who have suffered all of those things during these last 12 months and more. And it would be quite understandable on their part uh, if they could uh, turn back time uh, to before certainly March of last year, and to be honest, before the six months even previous to that. There are others who have not experienced such hardship and tragedy who would want to say, no, we don't want to turn the clock back because we have learned important things during these last 12 months, that we have grown, certainly matured, refined uh, in many ways. And I guess that I would put myself uh, in that particular uh, category. Of course, we can actually go back uh, in time. And we can go back in time in terms of our memories. Uh, indeed, during this pandemic, as a way of comfort, a lot of people have been going retro uh, and thinking about their past. And some people have even been reconnecting with those whom they knew uh, when they were uh, uh, much younger. And of course, in the present, we can have memorabilia still with us from those times uh, in the past. Uh, I mean, for instance, I still have this. Uh, this is my very first Bible, uh, which I had for my uh, 11th uh, birthday. 
Now, there is, uh, in the Bible, a wonderful verse. I'll take it from uh, another Bible, um, which uh, the relevance of that I'll explain uh, in just a moment. But in this particular um, Gideon's uh, Bible, uh, NIV Bible, we read in Joel chapter 2. Joel is a book in the Old Testament, which is quoted in the New Testament as well. Uh, but jo in Joel chapter 2 and verse 25, we have, um, we have it here where God says, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. And what that promise seems to be saying is that however tough things have been uh, in the past, however difficult, even if they were so hard that you would wish, if you could, to turn back time, but you can't, God will restore those years to you. Not that we go, go back literally in time, not that we become younger and younger, uh, even if we would wish to. But what God is saying uh, in the Bible is that the years that you now have, when you come under uh, my lordship, uh, says God, can be the very, very best years of your life, overcompensating for those years of, um, well, the years that the locusts have indeed uh, eaten. It's interesting that um, in the Bible, um, the word eternal does not mean exactly the same as everlasting. It, the word does mean forever, eternal, but it actually refers to something else uh, which is more important, uh, and that is quality. In other words, the word eternal refers to quality, not just quantity. And when Jesus came to earth to die upon the cross for you, and me. Through that, we would have the opportunity, we do have, sorry, the opportunity of eternal life uh, right now. I hope that um, after this dreadful 12 months, it's been tough for everybody, but it's been much more tough for others than some, and I'm in the category of the some and not the uh, others. But my hope would be that after uh, this 12 months, that you wouldn't actually wish to turn back time, but that you'd wish to move forward with your life and move forward under the authority and the love and the lordship of Jesus. If you do want to uh, inquire more, uh, and I would dare you to, please do contact me um, via the church website. Um, or the church office at Castle Hall Baptist Church, and we will send this uh, Gideon's Bible to you free, and we will pay the postage and packing as well. We will obviously need your name and uh, your address, but I promise you that we would not follow through with any other uh, inquiries. We would leave any subsequent inquiries for you, as it were, uh, to contact us. So just a few thoughts and a few reflections then uh, about time. We're all moving forward uh, in time. It is good on occasions to reflect uh, back. But what's most important is neither the past nor indeed the future but the present. And you and I can have eternal life right now. The best quality of life right now when Jesus is your time lord. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please do dare to inquire more about Jesus whilst you still have time.